Welcome to Bridge Course Online Classes. Government of Telangana, Department of School Education, Samagra Shiksha, Siddipet District. This is supported by District Education Department, Siddipet, and English Language Teachers Association, Elta Siddipet. Today we are going to discuss about the topic pronoun presented by T. Ravinder Reddy, School Student English, Government High School, Siddipet. Now I will show you a family picture. Here a child speaks to you. The child is saying, my family. Look at this family picture. The child is speaking to you. This is my father. This is my mother and this is me. See, this is Lakshman. This, he is my father. He is a driver. This is Lata. She is my mother. She is a teacher. This is Vivek. It's me. I am a student. So look at this picture again. This is the family of this kid. He is, uh, you know, Vivek. This is his mother. This is his father. Look at, this is Lakshman. He is my father. He is a driver. What is he refers to? Lakshman. Lakshman is my father. Lakshman is a driver. In the, in the place of the name Lakshman, here this boy is using he. He is my father. He is a driver. Now look at this person Vivek. Yeah, this is Vivek. He is talking about himself. He is showing at the picture. This is Vivek. It's me. Okay, the, it means it's the picture. And whose picture? It's my picture. It's me. And is a I'm a student, he is saying. Who is I here? I refers to Vivek. Next. You see, now he is talking about his mother. Showing uh, looking at the picture, showing to the picture. This is Lata. This particular person is Lata. She is my mother. She is a teacher. Who is she? She is referred here Lata. Lata is referred as she. In place of Lata, he is using the word she. Lata is my mother. Lata is a teacher. So, he is not repeating Lata and Lata and Lata like that. In place of Lata, he is using the word she. Now Vivek is talking about his pet. This is his pet. See what is he talking about it. This is my dog. It is my pet. I like it very much. It is my pet means what is it? It refers to dog. This dog is my pet. I like it. It means it means dog. I like the dog. I like my dog very much. So my dog can be replaced by a word it. Okay. Now Vivek is talking about his friends. This is Ajay and this is Vijay. They are my friends. So now he is clearly talking about I am Vivek. That means the person who is speaking to us is saying I am Vivek and he is introducing his two friends. This is Ajay and this is Vijay. We are good friends. Here I, this and we are referring to different people. I refers to Vivek, this refers to Ajay, 
again this refers to Vijay, V refers to Ajay and Vijay. So these are the words using in place of names. That means that what we call pronouns. Now he is talking about three girls here. The first girl Sita, second girl Gita, third girl Nita. Who are they? they are, this Vivek is saying they are my seniors. Now look at this. These are Sita, Gita and Nita. They are good at sports. They are my seniors. Okay. These and they, these the word refers to three girls. They also refers to three girls. Who are they? Sita, Gita and Nita are replaced by this word called they. This is a pronoun. Now you have clear idea what a pronoun is. Now look at this picture. This is the first picture what I shown you. This is Vivek and this is uh, his mother. This is his father. This is his pet. This is Vivek's group photo with his friends. This is Ajay. This is Vijay. These three are his seniors. This is Sita. This is Gita. And this is Nita. So, all these words can be replaced by some other words. These names can be replaced. Like I, you, he, she, it, we, and they, like this. So, these words are called pronouns. They are used in the place of a noun. So, now look at the definition of a pronoun. Pronoun is a word that takes place then that takes that takes the place of a noun you see pronoun is a word that takes the place of a noun okay now look at this in the serial number 1 the person is ravi okay ravi can be replaced by a word with i or if ravi speaks to you in place of Ravi, you can use I. Like you, if you have the friends, you are talking to your friends. Your friends, instead of their names, you can use the pronoun you. Okay. Now think you are talking about your father. Okay. Instead of your father's name, you can use he. He refers to your father. Imagine you are telling about your mother. Instead of your mother's name, you can use she. Like that, if you are telling about something about your dog. So, instead of dog or its name, you can use it. For example, you are talking about your classmates. So, you are one of the member. You are one of the members of them. Now, you can use the word V. For example, you are talking about your seniors. Now you are telling about them. So, so that now you can use a pronoun they. All these I, you, he, she, it, we, they are pronouns in the subject place. So they are called subjective pronouns. Now, some of the words they are they can be placed in some other place object place like these me you him her it us and them these are the words used in place of a noun but in the different location of a sentence that is object place so these are called objective pronouns some are 
possessive pronouns like mine, yours, his, hers, its, ours, theirs. These are called possessive pronouns. And there are some other pronouns, reflexive pronouns, myself, yourself, yourselves, himself, herself, itself, ourselves, themselves. Now you can learn them detailed manner. Read these sentences. Can you catch me? I will give you my notes. I gave him a chocolate. Ajay asked her pen, which I solved it in a minute. These that noise disturbed us. Teacher helped them. Okay, here some of the words are with a different color black. What are they? They are used in place of a noun. That means they are pronouns. This is object place. They are used in the object place. So that is called they are objective pronouns. Me, you, him, her, it, us and them. These are the objective pronouns. Now look at the phrases, my pen, your car, his bicycle, her gold chain, its food, our, our classroom, their ball. These are the eight phrases I wrote here around the central theme phrases. Now look at this. It is mine. What's that mine? My pen. Instead of the whole phrase my pen, we are using just the simple word mine. So mine is replacing my pen. Now look at this. It is yours. Yours means your car. Your car is replaced by the word yours. Okay. It is his. His bicycle. His bicycle is replaced by his. Similarly, it is hers. Hers means her gold chain. Okay. It's, it is its. Its here refers to its food. Dog's food. It is its. It is ours. Ours replaced by with the, with the noun. What is that noun? Our classroom. Noun phrase. It is theirs. Theirs is a word. It is replaced by a phrase. Their ball. Okay. Their ball is a phrase that is replaced by with this word theirs. So these are possessive pronouns. Mine, yours, his, hers, its, ours and theirs. Now you understood different pronouns. Subject pronouns, object pronouns, and possessive pronouns. Now you are going to understand reflex, reflexive pronouns. So we are going to learn about reflexive pronouns. Yeah, the baby, look at this baby. She is crawling. So the effort is nobody is making her to crawl. She is crawling herself. That means with the effort of that person, the action is uh, reflecting. I make tea myself. Nobody made me. Nobody makes me tea. I make tea myself. So you read it yourself. You read it yourself. You all played yourselves. He is dreaming himself. She is dancing herself. It turned off itself. We are playing ourselves. They stopped playing themselves. That means the action is done by themselves. So here these words are known as the red color. I, I wrote in red color. Some of the words I wrote with the red color. These are reflexive pronouns. Myself, yourself, yourself, himself herself, itself, ourselves, and themselves. Look at this. This is my pen. It is green. 
This is Nitya. She is a student. English is her favorite subject. This is her dog. It is a black dog. Its tail is white. Here some words are written in black color. These are look, look like pronouns, but they are not pronouns. They are adjective pronouns. That means their role is not to replace the whole noun. Instead, they are adding, they are acting like a describing word. They stand just before a noun and acting like a describing word called adjective. So these are called adjective pronouns. That means they are not really pronouns. They are working like adjectives like my, your, his, her, its, our and their. Okay children, this is all about uh, pronouns. You understood subject pronoun, object pronoun, possessive pronoun and reflexive pronouns. Okay, here uh, uh, dear children, here you observe the different uh, set of pronouns. Some are really replaced by a noun. Some are not really replaced by a noun. So all different types of pronouns you will you will learn in higher classes or in next episode. Thank you for watching this.